and he's being very scared and we're going to work with him a little bit so he learns how to get stuff done he's almost six months old and hasn't been groomed and he hasn't learned what certain things are so he's a little scared this is a lead we use and i put it up underneath his arm so he doesn't choke himself i'm going to hook it to the wall he does not like the sound of a dremel on his nails at all or touching the vibration on his feet this is why it's important to start at a young age to get these things done because they go through all this. I'll do it. All right. I want you guys to see what happens to a puppy that has never had something done and at a young age and starting them teaches them so they don't care. Even if you just put the noise around them and feel the vibration on their legs and their body. And this is why you can't groom a puppy at six months old or seven months old that's never been professionally trained a couple times, which means coming in and standing on the table and knowing what a lead is and uh, how to stand on the table and not on the floor in your lap um, and uh, having vibration down their body because you have to put sharp objects next to them to teach them um, and just to groom them. So uh, just the vibration of the clipper, uh, of the Dremel, has sent him into spits. So I wanted to record to show people what they can do. and just It takes time to teach them to understand that it's not going to hurt him. His collar has matted his whole neck up. Actually, all the way around. And he's um, almost six months old or just at six months old, I believe. And you can see a lot of that puppy hair and the adult coat starting to come in right underneath. About, about that much of it is adult coat. But, um, all right. All right, buddy. Let me turn on the Dremel. Let him hear the noise again. Okay. This is what the Dremel looks like. We've tried the cordless and this one. We wore the battery down on the cordless so he can hear it and understand it and now we have to plug it in so we don't kill the battery anymore and this is why it takes time i'm gonna have to be able to hold the foot and do his nails okay all i'm doing is holding his foot and rubbing his feet associating the Dremel sound with the feet. And once again, the clippers are louder than that, the clippers that you use on the body, not alone what the blow dryer sounds like. So if you're seeing him just with that small noise right there doing this, this is why, once again, getting done early a good couple times is essential. Now, he, say, for instance, he, uh, you know, six months old, and he's badly matted to the point where there's no dematting him. Um, dematting would be painful. Um, and uh, he came into the groom shop. And good boy, good boy, that's a good boy. And uh, he had to be shaved. And there's, there was no way around it, he had to be shaved. That would actually torture him because you had no choice. To shave, but but to shave him, and he had no clue what a clipper was. If he's going to flip out for this, and then it sets him up for future grooms to absolutely hate the groomer, and it's not the groomer's fault that this ends up happening. Um, you have to teach them that everything's okay. Oh, I'm going to hold his toenails and touch them. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to touch those toenails. Individual digits. Another reason why dogs hate going into groom shops is those scenarios is they have to get certain things done that their parents don't make them go through. So when they walk in, they want to run out the other way. And um, some people don't understand that it's not because the groomers are hurting them. It's because 
they are so scared of what they have to go through because they weren't taught that it's not a big deal. Good boy. Yes, that's a good boy. Good boy. Mm. Yeah. You see, all I'm doing is rubbing his toenail. His whole body jerks because he's afraid of it. He's got little knots all over him. These nails are getting quite long and very pointy and sharp. Huh? Now I could use the nail clippers, which I'll probably end up having to use on him because he won't let me dremel them, which dremeling gets them shorter, takes the edges off, which are much sharper, that scratch us up because they jump on us. Um, so I'll end up using nail clippers and a buffer. Just so he, this is a, a positive thing versus the boy you do versus a negative thing because next time someone tries to do it he's gonna do the same thing if he's not caught. Good boy. You know, if you get that caught in the door, man, in the door here, yeah. I don't know, let's see what you're talking about. Let's see what you're talking about. Good boy. And that's just desensitizing, just grabbing in there and loving on them and rubbing as if it's... This is what we would do to teach him as a puppy that pulling their ear hair is no big deal. Just desensitizing like that. Same thing with this side, just rubbing it as if it's good, and just pull, pull, pull. Now, I'm not pulling anything out, I'm just pulling on it so he realizes, oh, that's not a big deal. Good boy. Mm. And a lot of groomers have to hold underneath the chin right here, so when they're doing their eyes, they can keep their, their eyes safe from scissors or clippers, so he has to learn how to be held right here and think that it's a good thing. Do you love him loves? Mm -hmm. Like I learned how to be handled and rubbed and moved in certain places and held still so they can't go nowhere. Like hold them still. Good boy. Good boy. Hold them still again. Good boy. And ask him to stand up. Because they have to stand to have grooming done. They have to be able to get clipped all over their body. They have to be able to use scissors. Once again, this is under his shoulder and his neck, so he cannot choke himself whatsoever. I have to be able to lift up his tail individually. Now, you need two hands to do all this, so in order to keep his head over here, and work right here. I have to be able to clip all this, all down his leg. And right now I'm having to hold on to the other leg or he'll sit down. But right now I'm just touching him so he knows that I can do this while he's standing. But I have to be able to lift up his foot and scissor his foot. So I have to hold and scissor, 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 scissor. And this is a sharp object. You have to pretend it's sharp objects. Good boy. I'm gonna put it down. Put the other one. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Good. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Not to be able to do a sanitary, I have to be able to hold up his tail, which I grab onto right here, and hold up, just like that, so this, the hair is being held up, and I would clip her all around over here. Well, up on the knee. Good. Good. And he has to be able to stay standing. 
Because if you're clickering their rear end and they scoot down real quick, the blade is right there. So they had to learn that standing up is not going to hurt them. Just standing just like this and clickering all around this area without dropping down to his knees to sit. <laughs> Boy, just like that. Good job. I also have to be able to hold up his arms and brush up underneath his arms and groom up underneath his arms. And scissor and clipper. Good. Good boy. Yeah. Let's see how he does on the other side. Good job. Good job. Good. If we had a mat in his toes, I'd have to work out all that mat. He absolutely does not like his toes, then. Yeah, I know. I know. Nope. Nope. See, if this was clippers or scissors that would be by his foot, he would constantly be putting his face in danger at those scissors and the clippers. Because regardless, clippers still can cut, and it cut all his hair off his beard. So he has to be told constantly his head has to stay in one area. Nope. No. 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 And doing this is blocking his face from being in any kind of danger. gives him for just a second, I'll let him go so he knows it was a good job. And this is what we mean that you have to continue. He might even start screaming, but there is no reason for him to scream because nothing is hurting him. And I'm leaving the vibration on because he's got to hear it. started wanting to bite. Good. Good. So I'm trying to settle him for a moment. Come on. See them just clearly just rubbing my finger on his foot. Now, no scissors would ever be able to be touched on that foot because he's doing this and he put himself in danger. And the worst thing to do is stop because he would win and you would never accomplish anything. And I'm just asking for his calmness so that I can touch his foot. Good. All of that, just for that. And that was a good note, just like that. And then we would continue to repeat that. But these are things that need to be taught. 